Excuse me, watch your butt. Look at that beauty! Got some of these nice little wood panels on sale. Every year they have that miniature art uh, show thing. And I've always wanted to do these gorgeous wooden thingies that smell so good. Problem is every time I think of like little square panel paintings, I think of different media. So like mixed media stuff oil paintings, things like that, which is not really my bag. Sometimes I always get stuck in this thought that, you know, I'm a watercolor artist, I should only do watercolor stuff. And so I feel like sometimes establishing a style as an artist can kind of hold us back a little bit in having fun and enjoying things. <laughs> so I question whether or not it will be watercolor. So apart from trying to finish up this gigantic painting so I can get my life back, I had a fire lit under me to work on the calendar. I've already done the um, dates and holidays on the calendar, the date part of the calendar. I have some decorative scrolling going on. Thinking of making new headers, which would make sense, but that would take time. We'll see. This week, calendar time. And then this weekend, plein air painting. I'm not as excited about the plein air painting as I was before because it was supposed to be a live uh, community get together to paint outdoors kind of thing. And they were mitigating a lot of the concerns about gathering, also having enough time to create artwork, spreading it out over the weekend and not have like a time limit or anything. It's just like a weekend thing. Um, but then they came back and they said, you don't even actually have to go and paint. You could just stay home and work from a photo or a memory or something like that. And to me, that kind of takes away a lot of the fun because I kind of was hoping that it would be more like a, you go there and you do this thing in public, which is way more challenging than just working from a photo at home. Have an excuse to kind of be brave and connection with other people that you don't know. So since they sent that email, it does make me feel less confident about it. I don't need an excuse to not do that, so <laughs> I kind of wish that they didn't change that, but but yeah, just like everything else, it kind of just comes down to me and what I'm going to make myself do. I'm just alone with it, so that kind of sucks, but I'm sure there will be other people doing it, right? It's Thursday. I just did some sketching and I was starting to work on the calendar thing and I noticed that some of my artwork has not been scanned. So I went to scan it and I can't get power to this scanner. There's something going on with the cord. So John is very excited and he's getting a universal adapter. And so I can get scanning again because taking pictures of art, it does not look the same when printing because it's not it's not crisp. It's always just like it's always just like slightly blurry. So scanning is king. So in other news, I started uploading uh, short form videos onto a different uh, channel because I wanted to see if YouTube Shorts was really a thing that was working. Um, this is content that I already had because I was uploading it on TikTok. So I just was like, let's just throw it on here. Shorts is its own kind of TikTok ish app. So if the website detects that this is a short form video, um, it will pick it up and start sharing it onto the app itself. And I've noticed here that only one video was actually picked up. It's got a thousand views on this tiny video and then it goes away because that is just that unlike YouTube, generally like short form videos, uh, it gets one shot. 
all these other videos have zero. But anyway, so I just wanted to mention this because if you happen to prefer the really short, punchy videos with no talking, less than a minute long, I do have another channel called Yellow Mill Shorties. Um, I didn't want to put these on my regular channel. They're pretty ugly looking because you can't do thumbnails. And it's also just like a rehashing of stuff that I'm already uploading, the longer videos. It's just like a minute version. But yeah, um, I totally understand why people prefer to make TikTok videos. It's a lot faster. <laughs> Less rewarding because it took me many many hours to make that gigantic painting and to condense it all into a minute long video feels really crappy <laughs> because um, it's just like a one minute video that no one's going to remember or watch after a couple of days so it's like mm. you make the art and then the video is just a byproduct of that and since realizing that I've been feeling a lot better about doing it. John went to get the universal adapter and it is not universal enough <laughs> so so in the meantime I don't have a scanner which is kind of interesting because at the same time the um, USB cord to the printer stopped working too. Luckily the printer is Wi-Fi enabled so that's not a big deal. But yeah, my whole corner is not doing so good technologically. It just means that my camera is going to have to pick up a lot of slack. And taking photos of your art with your camera is perfect. Like people make prints all the time even though cameras don't, you know, they don't take 300 DPI images. <sighs> I'm hoping it'll turn out okay. You want to stay outside in the smoke? Hmm? Huh? You like smoke? It smells like fire out here, doesn't it? This is not a cloudy day. <laughs>